Hey guys, this is your weekly forecast for May the 24th, the week off. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below and our Zoom classes are on. Go to my web, uh, link is below to sign up for those. So this week I have a really positive feeling about this week. There looks like there's some kind of vind uh, vindication. Uh, it looks like any mentality where we have been defensive or uh, struggling with our position or our values or uh, any kind of reception within a group or our work or within a relationship, even within the family. Um, something this week, there is a breakthrough in that and you feel um, like you're getting um, where you need to be on that. On a uh, whole scale here, it looks like there is some insecurities uh, from our foundational belief systems, uh, which have been blockages and stopping us from achieving that which we want. Uh, there's an issue with communicating that, uh, understanding Understanding communication from others, perhaps we are taking what others have said and uh, overthinking it, uh, overanalyzing it, taking it as criticism uh, rather than, um, and this is from your own internal uh, internalization, um, or that um, you're unable to speak up. But it looks like there's um, success this week if you can um, bypass any insecurities and if you can communicate uh, effectively, but also internal communication and looking where this is coming from looking at where things are stopping you look at looking at where there is some fear uh, about a success fear about moving forward fear and vulnerabilities about um, you know lowering the um, uh, wall of insecurities and just going for it when it comes to your work career and uh, study we do have the hermit card so uh, those of you that are studying it looks like there's exams it looks like you are researching it looks like that you are delving deep into that which you are uh, learning or teaching when it comes to your career yeah. We're looking into the details. We're looking into how we can upskill. We're looking at learning more so we can achieve more. But uh, And so, if, for example, if we are talking about a financial aspect, we're looking into the details so that we can curb uh, access flow, uh, so that we can gain more money, uh, spending a little bit of money to gaining something in the future, uh, that kind of thing. We're looking in, into um, aspects of where we can make some changes, but we have to research it first. We have to get some experts in. Um, anywhere with our career and our finance, where we need to speak to someone who has the details because we're looking into that to gain that insight into the missing details, into the next step forward. Um, there's also uh, the idea of uh, some of you looking at my future gains um, versus, you know, um, my future gains that I want, whether this be actual gains in finances or reputation or as in career steps up, we're looking into our past wants, needs, spending, uh, career activity, studying activity, and we're looking at to how this is going to help me uh, with that future aspect. So we might be taking on some learning, we might be teaching somebody else a side gig, we might be uh, trying to uh, get, because this is the night house, we're trying to get from here and we're broadening our horizons What with what we learn, what we spend, what we um, bring in, um, and also uh, a wider audience, you know, um, reaching more people. So you could be uh, suddenly getting into an area where you are learning a new aspect in a um, online company or a telecommunication or something where it's dealing with more than what you have before. When it comes to your home, you've got two cards. It looks like there is some success, uh, something to be joyful about. After we get some communication, it looks like there's been some finger pointing. So again, I want to say there's some vindication here. Maybe someone's been in a defensive uh, behavior pattern all of their own making, all of their own thinking, or, you know, just taking things too personally. And uh, while they are going through that, they may come through their own enlightenment or, uh, you know, maybe that feeling has passed, uh, or just even communicating. So it feels like there's some vindication. It feels like you're hearing that you're right. It feels like things are smoothing over and things are getting back onto that joyful path. Uh, when it comes to love, uh, we'll put those two together and we're going to put this one together. These two are both threes. Um, this is joyful, uh, happy emotions uh, and success after we've had this uh, communication grounding 
um, reasonable, beha uh, reasonable, logical um, thinking and behavior, uh, practicalities put into it. And some of us, it may even be counseling or agreeing to a union of some sort because we're agreeing on, on the next uh, step here as well. After a time of um, accusations, finger pointing, defensive behavior, uh, and coming back onto the same page now. When we come to, oh, if we're talking about the not relationships, we're talking about the home, it looks like we've got the information coming in quickly that we've been waiting on um, so good news so if you live on your own there's some information coming in around the home um, that you know makes you feel really good about that if it's with uh, flatmates uh, we've got the news that they're coming in you've got the news that they're going out if this is in our family family News is coming and we're all on the same page and we're all enjoying and we're all celebrating this uh, together if there's a hurdle uh, at the beginning of the week or coming into the week where we have got some news, we have got some um, worry, uh, know that the information is coming, things will end up the way that um, you want them to work. When it comes to your health, we do have the Six of Cups. Now, this is victim mentality. This is um, from the past, uh, our childhood foundational fundamental feelings, uh, but also past behaviors where we have gotten our own way and maybe we've been in a little bit of a well. Maybe it's you uh, that's been that defensive person uh, you know in that aspect and so on a, a, a psychological basis this victim mentality that we've been feeling um, perhaps it's time to look at that and address that and how does this help us how does this help us move forward or is this something we need to address now and let go of this is also about the nervous system solar plexus midriff bowels colon intestines and abdomen um, and this is um, something that we've experienced before that's coming in it can even be hereditary of some sort uh, as well. So it's back on the table, we're readjusting it, it, it's coming up there. So going back to the psychological and the uh, victim mentality, this is a place of healing um, by practical, tangible means. So maybe you need to um, take a time out, maybe you need to join some counseling, maybe you need to do some meditation, or maybe you just need to look at yourself and just go, is this stress and this worry and this uh, pity party I've thrown myself, is this just an emotional feeling that I'm having right now because, you know, it's an emotional time, I'm under a little bit of stress you know more than one thing's gone wrong at the moment and so I've you know spiraled down um, is this still working for me because maybe I can handle things a, a different way from now so whatever this emotion that you're feeling you might work through that and find that this is uh, new tactics on how to get through that uh, without being able to uh, carry on with the cycle again back to love we got the three of pentacles here um, this is about Success in a relationship. When we talk about our, um, you know, our grounding. So, what what are our fundamental uh, belief systems that we have that are the same? Uh, and anything that comes up that we can address together, that might be slightly different from each other. And how we can uh, work with each other on that. This is also about plans for our future. Uh, so maybe we're putting some money into, or talking about putting money into something to do with the future. Whether this be moving in together, buying a house together, our wills, uh, starting to put money down as a down payment for um, you know getting married or uh, even fertility of some sort so practical tangible steps uh, putting in some sort of um finances or, or, or physicality to, uh, for the gains in the future um, and this is also about communication um, between us to get that success that we need okay glory and virtue messages from the angels this week is Okay, so we do have the yes card. So everything that I was saying uh, where the success is coming in, we do have the yes card for that. Again, we're talking about this victim mentality. We're talking about all of being in our head. The defensive behavior, this uh, pity party, this um, victim mentality, uh, this worry, even um, uh, the work, career, and study where we are addressing um, fundamental foundational systems that have you know changed during our course of our career and looking at where we want to make those changes to gain more into the future this is not all in our head so we need to um, you know there's much going on in our head so it's time for us to you know quiet our mind uh, get rid of some white noise maybe some meditation or just you know stop thinking about it get yourself busy doing something else uh, because you could be having headaches um, you know like I said the nervous system that's around the head as well uh, seizures um, even fibromyalgia uh, which does stem from emotional stress as well can um, inflate it make it worse 
Vanessa says we have got strong decisions that we need to make but also this is about our grounding this is about our future this is something that's important to us and this decision that you're making this week has got potential for growth in the future but it's actually an important move for you. Fiona says something in someone that you may talk to, even some advice, even a, a very brief uh, conversation is really important for somebody else. But through that conversation, you're going to learn something a bit, little bit about yourself. Maybe, and I've done this myself, um, I'm in the middle of talking to someone about something and what I've just said come out of my mouth. I can attribute that to myself and think to myself, oh my God, I should be listening to my own advice. That's quite similar to what I'm dealing with. I should listen to myself. Maybe that was an insight that I had accidentally because I was talking to somebody else. So that kind of feeling for you as well. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.